Hey, welcome back to another episode on Assassin's Creed 2. Um, I want to point out that I'm going to try to make like a bunch of videos, um, like record, of them, record a bunch of them back to back, and uh, not just Assassin's Creed 2, but like Fallout 3 and all that stuff. Um, and then edit the videos, and then once once one video is done editing, I can upload it, and at the same time edit another video, and just keep like going back and forth doing that. Um, because I want to start recording more episodes. I want to keep when I'm eating candy corn at the same time too. But um, I want to be able to like play the play these games a bunch instead of just like play them, then not play them for like a few days, then get back into it and like kind of remember what's going on. So right now we are escorting our family to Monteregioni. Um, that is my favorite place because of like this one ambient song. So, now let's go ahead and escort our mother and sister. I'm going the wrong way. Hmm. Okay, so there are a bunch of guards around. I don't know why they're not doing anything. I guess they just don't care right now. This hero's luck will hold me pray, and when he plays his cards, he'll prove <laughs> Okay. Find thy wounds, noble senior. Let their mind be not in vain. You have our hearts and comforts. There are so many guards everywhere. Just like looking at the mini map on the bottom right, it is an insane amount. Alright, so we're gonna hire these girls so that we can distract the guards. Go Awesome. Alright. Now that we did that, we are finally out of Florence. This way. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Will we ever be back? I don't know. Segway. What will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. Pretty. Oh, they gone? Okay, they just disappeared. Now our memory is synced and our bros can break around us. There it is. Should be close. Grazie, Dio. Qui, let's do it. And very soon we're going to be meeting a very, very special person. Buongiorno, Ezio. This guy. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. Damn, My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. 
What will happen now that there's no one left to help you? I have such wonderful things in okay. store for your mother and sister. Oh, crap. I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. There we go. What sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. <laughs> Kill them. Kill them all. This comes out from the bush. Oh crap. crap. We're attacking the good guy. Okay, our family is getting hurt. Backstabs. Oh, we're all hanging around this guy. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario. Mario. <laughs> Mario. It's been too oh, long. Oh, whenever I first I heard that, know. I thought it was amazing. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come. Let's get you all away from here. All right. So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. <laughs> Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterigioni. I thought Monterigioni was an enemy of Firenze. <sighs> For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. This is gonna be good because shops may only carry uh, goods, he's gonna give well us like a quest of. Uh... There is a chapel. Okay, he's talking too much. So this is gonna be good because we're gonna be getting a quest to go to one of the blacksmiths and get some armor. So that'll be like our first introduction to armor. I'm pretty sure we could have done that before, but uh, whatever. We're 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 gonna we're, um, wait till uh, two. The pretty seems it's nice available to fellow. us. Or what but he tells us to. I've never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? Okay, there's a viewpoint Here we up are. there. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait, he did not tell you? 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Okay, all right, and there we go. He just gives, gave us a quest to go get some armor. Um, I already said gear, but I'm gonna say armor. So before we do that, real quick, since we're already right here, let's go ahead and get that viewpoint discovered. Actually, love candy corn. That's right, we do have to repair some of our armor. Alright, some leather greaves. And then later on we'll start getting like metal armor. And like our health bar, it's on the top left where my face is covering a little bit. Uh, that's gonna be- I'm going the wrong way apparently. That's, uh, that health bar is going to increase, and it's gonna get really long, too. Come, distinguished me. Come, friend! Farewell and swift recovery, amico. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Making one heck of an entrance. Salute, uncle. <clears throat> Did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimal. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. Benny, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I think you have the codex page. I'm doing everything wrong. Codex. See, a guide to the inner workings of the order, its origin, purpose, and techniques. Our creed is: your father believed the codex contained a powerful secret, 
Something that would change the world. Perhaps it's why they do. Assassins, Templars, Godex pages. This is a lot Three times in a row. Don't be shy. Come on. You're making fine progress. That was kind of dumb. I'm just having to Today I'm going to teach you how to them. position does yourself nothing. in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several mighty orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground where they continued their nefarious work. You've really come into your own. Thank you, uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine! Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait! Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since <coughs> he first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. It's always not fun whenever your family member is yelling at you. Oh. And it's not fun when you're climbing stuff that you don't want to climb. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. All right, now we have a place that we can deposit our feathers. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's not gonna let me. Alright, can we buy more stuff right now? Oh, we can. Awesome. Ooh, it's pricey. Hmm. And then yeah, there's some, like, metal bits in there to make it stronger. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and do... Chest. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. There's no point in saving right now. And then later we'll we'll be getting like some good swords. A pleasure. You do come again. Plus we'll be getting we'll be getting a lot more money here soon. 
Kind of reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus. Like, it just looks so bright outside. Kind of hazy. Like how Shadow of the Colossus is. It's supposed to make it like more like otherworldly. Responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. Might have he has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it. So this is where we'll strike, Pronti. It's gonna be awesome when we get our other assassin's blade, so we can have dual blades. And in uh, Black Flag, I think I use the the sword a lot more. I don't know. It's just like. Yeah, it was All like, right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. I'm My men talk. and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. <clears throat> right. A la taco! <laughs> A la taco. Um, yeah, like, Assassin's Creed... Black Flag, like it was an Assassin's Creed game, but it was more like a pirate game. Do we have any? How do we throw our weapons? Oh. I keep pressing the wrong button. Nice job, guys. Well done, Ezio. We are in. This way, men! I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully it will buy me enough time to find and silence Fieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. What's Fieri up to now? No one knows. Alright, so what we should probably do is go above. Signal we again when you should follow. Instead, he's turned us into nursemaids. But my goods are worth the extra quattrini. I've never spoke to Shoddy merchandise. Careful. Uh, what are you talking? One left. Get him. Gang up. Treat it like chivalry. Just gang up against people. He 
his mental health is questionable. Damn it! Let's come out. Bro. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this B point. And there's a feather up there. Ow. Oh, well, we'll also get this. Here, we'll go ahead and get this feather. Right. Now we got our feathers. Now let's continue with our mission. Oh, and there is a chest. Your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Ah, Nipote. There you are. It seems my plan is with something of a snap. Here he's I been ambushed us, and now we've got our hands full. My brothers and I will deal with these guys. I want you to go on ahead and root out that snake. See that justice is done. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo. Your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble. Just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May the Father of Understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Where is he? Death comes quick. 
We did it, yay. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che prov... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when Words you of time. wisdom. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Gotta get a bit of money after that. Now with the uh, money we uh, uh, got, let's take a look at some armor. And we already have everything. And um, we can't, we don't have enough money to buy these. Another time. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio, walk with me. Yes, Uncle. The Pazzi answer to another. A Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe, and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something Sounds powerful one. and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Then. Return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Oh, it's wanting us to synchronize again. 
Why? We already did the. These two, and I'll do the last one. Okay. Do this one, and do the one that's on the left side, and then we'll go outside and do that last one. Oh, and here's another feather. Heck yeah. Ugh. I just like how these things are just sitting here the whole time. Anybody can just walk up and open it up inside. Pick whatever's in there. So it's like if somebody takes it, then it's like, oh well, you don't know who took it. You don't know which house it is. You have to say, search every house. here we're going to be seeing our sister Claudia and uh, yeah and uh, this is where we're going to try to start getting some money or is this where we go no nah, this is the spot well uh, at some point we're going to be getting a good bit of money from doing a job or not a job but uh like investing in stuff and getting money back from it I, my brain is like a doorknob right now. I cannot think. Alright, here's where it is. Gosh, it took me forever. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. <laughs> if father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms <clears throat> of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here... Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Okay. Um... So, yeah. This is gonna... This is gonna make us... Have a lot of money. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. 
as Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Alright. So, the art merchant, I am not going to do that. First thing I do want to do is... Well, first thing I do want to do is... uh. It's too expensive, the blacksmith. Um, what about the mines? Okay, yeah, we'll do the mines. It's gonna take a lot of our money, but it's it's gonna be worth it. Sorry, anything else that I can do? Okay. All right, I'll, I'll just do it like job? that. Because I don't want to spend all of my money just yet. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Yes, head indoors. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded we'll the freedom them. of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia. Hidden tombs filled with treasure where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself. With no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Ah, oh, yeah. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Alright. I think, uh, at one point I did get most of the keys, but I never did get Altair's, uh, outfit. Unless it was, like, something you had to get at some point, but I don't remember ever- I don't remember getting it, so... If it's not, like, a main quest thing... Then this will be like the first time I get it because I do plan on getting it for this series. You are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. 
This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Awesome. This will probably be where we can jump from. Like, off of stuff. Kill, yep. Well, this will be great. Oh, I'm so excited for this because I've been wanting to do this. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox? Shh. Capisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Uh, well, I'll get back to you later whenever I have 4,000 florins. So we can get metal boots. Or, like, somewhat Fear metal boots. This evil, wild, rabid animal. He kills any who cross his path. Oh, I'll get back this way. Oh, I see him. What a la la, you Should we use our new techniques? If I can get around there. Oh, where's he at? Oh, he's right what? My pouch. Oh, my money. Your money. I don't have your money. <laughs> get back here. Make me. Got him. Wait, I really what? have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. How do we get up here? Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. 
You know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo, let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Follow me, but we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problema. I used to be awful at doing races or doing like timed stuff. I was really bad at it. Like, I'm still not. Super good at it, but I'm better than what I was. <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. Oh well. I guess uh, the past is catching back up to me. <laughs> there we go, because I didn't have that music playing. Oh my gosh, my eye is so itchy right now. Yes, I love this epic music. And there it is. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle, turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Mm. Buona fortuna. Oh, oh. Well. Stay back, dog! Put him up! Wait, did I get just steal from me? Where'd that guy could just go? What was that? Oh, there he is. Stay back, dog. Ouch. Why? Never mind. I don't want to know. Well, that guy's not gonna get away. Where's he at? Was that just him up there? We're gonna lose him. I, don't, I think he stole my money. Dang. We lost him. That really sucks. Okay. Well, while we're here, I guess I'll go to that viewpoint. Oh, but there's a feather. Hey, you shouldn't be up here. Leave. You're not allowed up here. I don't have any. Leave. Not you. I'm not. So I've lost. Eccolo. I have no time for you. Oh, but.
A lot of this is just me playing the game and not really saying much, but there is really nothing to say. The story basically explains itself. And plus there is just like a lot of like talking that happens. At least they have the generosity to refill your health bar. Like Resident Evil 2 puzzles. Or Resident Evil 4. I never played 2. Smooth. How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. Okay, there's the lever up to... up there. Oh, is there... Apparently there is enemies here. Oh, okay. That's not where I wanted you to go. There we go. Damn! We could have done our sneaky move, but we didn't. Oh, there's another guy out there. Ooh, and burning knives. Yeah. I I love doing the uh, those sneaky moves. I'm so glad we have that unlocked. Okay, there was a chest right there. We have to go right. Okay, yeah. I didn't mean to do that. We have to go up here. No! Okay. 
made it. First try. Merda! The door! Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here! If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post, so help me God! Me. Oh, can we not use our stuff? Oh my gosh. Stop running on that. Like it wasn't like allow me to like tackle him or anything. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentes, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, Padre. Bernardo? It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation, as long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. 
We'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. Guide us. Alright, and this Look is where we're going to make a lot of money. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the Assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. Hello. And there's our first key. Francesco will be and when, but... What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed, if we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi... It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. All right, well, that's a nice little boat. Um, I think that'll end, that'll be, I think that'll do it for this episode of Assassin's Creed 2. Thank you for watching, and before we close out, I'm going to loot this boat. Okay, 75. Alright, now, <laughs> now that we did that, I think that'll do it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.